G'day guys, I've got a chemistry question today where it's asking us to calculate the concentration of a standardised hydrochloric acid solution. So we've got a student that prepared a litre of that many moles per litre sodium carbonate solution. He titrated three 25 mil aliquots of this solution against hydrochloric acid and found an average titration volume of 24.35 mils. Calculate the concentration of the standardized hydrochloric acid solution. Well, basically, to start off with with this question, like any, well, like most, sorry, chemistry questions, we're going to need to write down a formula so we can get down our molar ratios of reactants. So basically what we're going to have is we've got the acid plus carbonate. So we're going to get a salt, water, and carbon dioxide. So here's our acid. We've got hydrochloric acid plus our carbonate, and that gives salt, plus water, plus carbon dioxide. Now before you guys start jumping up and down saying that I haven't balanced it correctly, I'm just going to balance it now. We're going to have two of those and two of those. Cool. Now, we could just write an ionic equation straight from the word go, but we basically um, it's easier to see if you've got the full equation here. So from here, what we can do is we can work out our molar ratios. So we can say that one mole of Na2 CO3 requires 2 moles of hydrochloric acid. Cool. So from here, it's quite logical that then we have to figure out well how many moles of Na2CO3 do we have? So that's the next logical step. We're going to go the number of moles of Na2 CO3 is equal to the concentration times the volume. Now the concentration is given here 0 0.0248 times the volume, which is just 0. 0.3 of them of 25 mils, so 0 0.025, sorry about my handwriting here guys, um, and that's going to equal 6.2 times 10 to the negative 4, moles. Cool. That's supposed to be a C. Now, so for the next step, from the molar ratio that we've written in red just above, we can then just deduce, we can say therefore, number of moles of hydrochloric acid is equal to 2 times 6.2 times 10 negative 4 and that's going to equal 1.24 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of hydrochloric acid okay well now that we have the a number of moles of hydrochloric acid that would be required to fully neutralize all of this carbonate, what we can then do is we can just work out, we can go straight to the concentration from here because we have the volume of hydrochloric acid here. We know the number of moles, so we can say then the concentration of hydrochloric acid is just going to be the number of moles divided by the volume, which is equal to 
1.24 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 2.435 times 10 to the negative 2. Now if we punch that into the calculator, we get 5.09 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per litre. Cool. So let's just run through what we did. To start with, when we've got most of these um, titration questions, when we have um, stoichiometry questions, any questions like that, your best bet is to write down what the reaction, the formula which represents the reaction. So we wrote that down, we have an acid and a carbonate, gives us salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. From that we could get our molar ratios of reactants, one mole of the carbonate requires two moles of the acid. Once we've done that, it follows that we need to work out the number of moles of the carbonate that we're given. So we use our concentration times volume formula. With all this dodgy handwriting here, we come out with 6.2 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. From there, we can use this ratio and just, in this particular case, double it to get the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. We're given the volume of hydrochloric acid that's required. So we can use the same equation, the number of moles divided by the volume, to get our final concentration of HCl or hydrochloric acid. So it's a pretty stock standard question guys, it's worth four marks so it's worth your while in an exam. So yeah, if you do a few of them you'll see that it's quite logical after a while, you do this, you do this, then you find the moles, do the ratio conversion, then find the um, concentration of the other reactant. So I hope the video helped guys, do me a favour, hit the like button if it did, subscribe to my channel, I put out new videos on a variety of subjects all the time, but until next time, I'll see you then.